Look at that sky. I know you probably can't hear me, but it's nice and cool. <laughs> Got me some cookies. Really nice and cool. Lenny and Larry's. Plant-based, protein, very good. Very good. Good for diabetics. This is the one. So I asked for a fork. This is what they gave me. <laughs> I mean, you want me to pick my teeth with it? Like, God. Ladies and gentlemen. Jeep up there. Jeep right there. It's beautiful out here. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah? I got you. You ready? Oh shit. It's Hold on, it's coming. You're like a mermaid.
Oh shit. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Go, go, baby, go. Go, go, run, run, run your little legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's how you do anything for a photo shoot. Take note, photographers. Ladies and gentlemen. back with another video uh doing maintenance to my jeep um got a wire brush uh, i'm cleaning uh some of the the uh, areas like where the calipers are and all that stuff and where especially like where like a lot of the dust and grime and rust and brake dust go um and uh so i'm changing the front and the back brakes on my jeep i'm on home time and uh so though I can get this done, uh, but yeah, I'll turn the camera around right now, see what's going on. So this is what I'm talking about. So like, let me get some more light in there. So just kind of cleaning this up, you know, cleaning the, around it, I'll wipe it down too. Kind of blowing, you know, inside. And then of course, compressing this back with, uh, with one of the brake pads. And then I put um, a clamp on it and just kind of squeeze it back. And then uh, and put the, the new brakes on. 
So these are not too, too bad. I mean, they're about to like, you know, that's, that's pretty low. This one's got a little bit more, more meat to it, but those are definitely pretty low. So let's see if I can take that out. I could probably get, what do you call it for it? Hold on. Uh, let me see this thing. <sighs> Let me see. Yeah. There we go. There we go, Gefna. All right. You can see the calipers are still really, really good. These are the brakes. So. You can see, like, compared to my hand, you know, those are, that one is pretty super thin. The other ones were the same way, because I already did the other side. So, this is the driver's side. The other passenger side looked just the same. So, at least it's getting wear pretty evenly. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to change these, change these out. And this is, boys and girls, why I don't trust mechanics. See that? Okay. Now, if you know anything about about brakes and and you know calipers and all that, and uh, well, you know here's your calipers. These are your um, I'm trying to remember what they're called rotors. And see these come with clips that hold the rotor in. Okay, but we had me and this other mechanic, we had took these off so I could replace. Uh, the uh, what do you call it? Um, the wheel bearings. So there's brand new wheel bearings. Well, this is what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? That's metal. You know what I mean? Uh, wouldn't that be better to clean that up? You know, grind it down, whatever. But no, this is how that's how you left it. So this is why I don't trust mechanics no more. If I have to do my own thing, I'll do my own thing. So I put a little bit of extra because these no longer have clips. I mean, not that it matters, but. Um, I put a little extra emphasis on the tightening of these so that my wheels don't pop off. So, but anyway, let's get it done. So there you have it. Brand new shoes. Yeah. Right. So yesterday I did my uh, brakes, uh, checked my sensors and all that. Um, and... I did my daughter's oil change too, and uh, rotated the tires, which was, oh, was awful. And now I'm like unboxing some things that I got. So, Let's see if I can prop you up there. So I got kind of already unpackaged. <laughs> so this is a little hood mount for my antenna. So that's where this is going to go. Um, so you mount it here, you know, somehow. And then this is what goes to uh, the radio that I'm going to put in the Jeep. So it, it seems like a lot of cord. I'm trying to determine where I'm going to end up putting it. Um, and then this is the actual antenna. So pretty small. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want nothing really long you know so it could be used for a uh, ham radio gmrs or even um uh, cb so it's not bad so i'm probably gonna end up taking this with me i was gonna install it um while i was home but i just do i just didn't have enough time and it's hot outside right now uh, but I ended up getting a ox beam so I got me aux beam. These are the little stickers for the switches. And then I had no idea they were this small. So this is a little small. I mean, my cell phone's bigger than this, you know. But uh, it's pretty nice. Real clicky. You know, so I like it. Metal structure, you know, metal frame. So it's got the little cord, little cord at the end. You know, so it's it's pretty nice. I like it. I can't wait to 
to put it on, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to, um, you know, probably install it, uh, you know, while I'm at work. So I'll probably have to do it that way. But yeah, so that's the little unit. Um, while I'm running the wires to the top where I want this at, I'm gonna run the wires for the, the uh, what do you call it, antenna. Oh, here they are. I'm gonna put these on my daughter's car. And then, got stickers. More stickers, those are pretty cool. Um, and then this is, uh, comes with, I think this is for, pretty beefy cable and then you've got the actual switch box you know that you mount to the Jeep inside the um, the engine area and that's where you put all your your switches right there so it's got a pretty beefy cable for power and I would imagine you know this is well this is where your switch plugs into probably like your ground and then there's a uh, other wiring that you gotta put on there that's where it goes in your fuse box and then that's where the little what it calls for I would imagine that's what that's for there's a black and a red right there and you plug that power in there so they even put give you a little screwdriver too and then it also came with like a clear casing for the little module so it's pretty good it's pretty decent you know i really didn't expect you know a lot from you know something that was a little cheaper but it actually came with a lot of stuff and then it's got the brackets more fuses so that's pretty cool and then the mounting brackets Got the mounting other mounting brackets. I don't know what if they're just two different kind. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's probably two different kind. But yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out something. And then it came with a bunch of uh, zip ties too. But I already got zip ties. Got the hardware. It's got Allen's in there. Pretty good hardware too, and a bunch of zip ties, because I want my stuff looking clean. So, but yeah, came with a bunch of. And that would. This is the uh, the cable for the switch. So I wanted to see how long this was, so that way I know, like, okay, well, what side can I run it out of? What's going to be better, you know? So I was kind of wanted to see how long it was. I mean, it looks pretty long. Like, you know, do I have to run it, you know, all the way? Ah, it's not that long. <laughs> so that's what I was afraid of, because now this, you know, tells me, okay, well, you, I need to run it, you know, maybe closer to the driver's side. Um, or the box has to be closer to the driver's side. Because um, it, it's long, but it's not that long. It's not as long as I thought it was going to be, but they did a really good job, like, you know, putting, um, like, shrink tubing around it, making it waterproof, so, did a pretty good job, it, it's really good, really nice quality wiring, you know, so, yeah, it's nice, a lot of nice, it, it's, it's long, but I don't know, we'll, we'll find out, I think I could stretch this inside no problem maybe like up and up on top of my frame or just to say screw it you know and put it in the dash on the dash and then that way it, it's you know has a little bit more leeway getting to uh getting to this box because it's gonna it's gonna go to the box but it seems relatively easy i just have to have time to do it um, so I know it's going to take me some time, especially because I want everything looking clean and, 
and stuff like that, so, yeah, but, then I got a harness for the two, I actually gotta go get that, <laughs> but, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, yeah, so I got a wiring harness, I had to put everything back in its box, um, put this away, yeah, I'm gonna just take it with me. So if I have when I get a day off when I because I'm going back to work tomorrow, which which is Friday, um, and I get a day off, I usually take my tools with me. So I'll uh, I'll just do it, you know, when I get a day off. Because usually I'm trying to find something to do anyway, you know, because when I I leave from here, I I'm up there working. I'm not. I'm not looking to do things, but I'll just take it with me. So now, this is the inlet, inlet. This is two gauge rocker, or two gauge rocker switch with quiet harness. And it comes in a bag. And there's a switch right there. But I'm using the, the switches here, so I haven't even opened this. I don't even know if it's going to work for this. Um, okay, it's got extra connectors. Oh, wow, it does. One, 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 one two, three, four. Oh, let's open it up. Fuses. What's this? Oh, <laughs> oh, cool. It has uh, other stickers. But that's for the the switches that it came with. All right, so it does come with these. I, I thought I was gonna have to go get some, but it came with them. More fuses. And from what I understand, I think it has like two relays, so that's pretty good. Got more fuses, that's pretty good. Lots of connections. Um, all right, has an instruction manual, so that's pretty good. And I guess a way to maybe mount the the relays, maybe. Or maybe they're for the switches, but yeah, I'm not using those, like I said. So, so there's that. All right. The pure resistance. So these are the rocker switch. Very quicky. Yeah. Oh, it smells new. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you can see all the, all the wiring, all the wiring there. So, it looks intimidating, but it actually isn't. It's like a lot of crossovers. There's only one, two, three, four, four wires that are actually coming out of it. And they're all connected to, or with each other. So... These wiring, I would imagine this is this has to be for um, your lights, and that's what I'm hooking them up to. It's two, four, six, eight. I have four lights. That's eight connections. So that's what. And they're they're pods. I'm gonna I'm just hooking these up for now, and then. Um, I will be getting a uh, ox beam lights, which, but I'm kind of iffy on that because I went to, um, what do you call it, the other day, actually yesterday, uh, Harbor Freight, and I found um, lights that I actually like, and they're not that, you know, they're not that uh, cheap, and they're not that inexpensive or expensive either, so... I don't know. I, I think it'd be a it'd be pretty good, but yeah. Let me see if I can get if I can get these out. 
I did a pretty good job wrapping it, keeping everything together. So, yeah, I just wanted to see how long this stuff is. Um, yeah, there's the relays right there. So these relays, they bolt onto your your frame, I would imagine, or at least uh, you know where the firewall is. And then, yeah, it comes with comes with more of these right here, you know. So it's got a lot of fail safes. Yeah, there's where your fuses are. Definitely has a lot of fail safes. Waterproof too, which is pretty good. Cause that, um, check the other one. Yeah. So it's pretty waterproof sealed. I mean, that's pretty good tight seal. That's not too bad. And they're really close to the actual relays. So. Huh? <laughs> I'm talking to the camera, baby. <laughs> so these are the relays that they come with. And that's my baby's chocolate finger. We call her little chocolate. Stop. I'm going to hit you with this. So. Yeah, that's not bad. Annie, come here, baby. Can you see? Pull this. See how long it is? Oh, yeah, that's pretty long. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of room. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So, yeah, this will work. This will work for my switches. Just looks intimidating because of the wiring. But this has to be... Has to be four. Oh yeah. Okay. So these, these are for the power. Okay. Man, it's a lot. got two here, two here, okay, so that would be one, All right, These go, okay. I'm just trying to get everything organized here. I'm very back. Okay, so I think I got it figured out. So you got your, your relays, okay? And then you've got power. You've got your switches. Okay, those are on the ground. You've got your power. Um, then you've got these two lines that run to, so this would be one side, and then this would be the other side. So one light, one light, and then vice versa on the other side. At least that's what I gather. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but like I said, I won't be able to get into it right now. Just kind of looking at it. It looks like this harness will work, you know, for the meantime. But I, I, if I'm right, I think that Oxbeam has its own harness. And I might have to buy that because it looks like they can, when you buy the lights, they just connect very easy. No cutting, no splicing. Um, so I might 
do that in the future. But you know, this this would just be for now. Um, and it's not that hard. It's just a little time consuming. So, but uh, but yeah, I'll get it done. I'll get it done when I get a chance. <laughs> like I said, tomorrow I got to go to work. I already did everything I could uh, to the Jeep, and I still need to change the spark plugs. Um, or did I change it? No, I didn't change spark plugs. I gotta get the spark plugs done. And then I did my daughter's car and I did chores on the house that need to be done. Um, so my days have been pretty full and I've just been trying to relax and I just can't, I've got way too many things to do. But anyway, um, yeah, so on a day off, I'll mess with this stuff and just take my tools with me. And I think that's it. So I will definitely get back to it, record it, and then that way I could put it online, people can see it. So, anyway, peace. So, I am back, uh, back in the truck, back to work. So, I am currently just sitting here in my truck. <laughs> um, I got here, it's Friday, uh, the uh, 4th. So, I probably got here about, uh, uh, what time did I get here? It was before noon, so I probably got here about 11.30, maybe 11.45. Um, so, yeah, so just had a bunch of stuff to do at home. Um, I didn't really have that too much time to relax and, and just enjoy my time off. Um, but, you know, I get a chance to work on the Jeep and, you know, that's fulfillment for me. Um, also, too, I got to add things to do to my daughter's car. Uh, she's got a Honda. Had to do the oil change and all that. And um, and then just a bunch of, you know, husband, father stuff that I got to take care of when I get home. <laughs> um, but it's okay. You know, I, I, I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy it. Um, so now... What I'm doing now is I'm basically just uh, waiting to work. So I, as soon as I got here, I took off, uh, went to go grocery shopping, got my groceries, and then um, and then that was pretty much it. Came back, uh, put everything away, and then um, I've been here just uh, relaxing. So I actually got time to relax. <laughs> and sleep and that's what I did so I got up about maybe an hour ago and I had to kind of trim up a little bit because the trimmer I have at home is good um, but the trimmer that I have here on my truck it's really small and uh, it works really well it's made by Phillips and it just gets it the length that I want it so it's really really good but um, but yeah so now I'm back in the truck and uh anxious to get going anxious to get to work but it's like nine it's 1941 it's kind of backwards but uh we do military time but yeah it's 1941 which is 741 um so i'm just waiting for my load to get here around 8 8 30 so it should be here anytime and then i could hook up and and get going but get my get my night started but yeah, I had to get some rest uh, because I knew I was working nights. And uh, that's kind of been the norm nowadays. Um, not really working during the day. It's been mostly at night. So, but anyway, I'll uh, either I'm going to finish this log here or, or vlog or, uh, or I will continue to vlog. I don't know. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Let's go.